And for more perspective, we bring in BTN analyst and longtime former college football coach Jerry DiNardo. Jerry, what was your reaction to the news? Well, I was disappointed in the press conference, Mike, I have to say. You know, to me, uh, this is about domestic violence. And for the president of the university, athletic director of the university, and a head football coach to have a press conference and no one to address the issue of domestic violence until the very end when Urban was asked a question, I was disappointed. I, I always feel like distractions and crises are a chance for all of us to grow. You know, the bigger the distraction, the bigger the crises, the bigger the progress. And yet, if you were watching, if you just came from another country and were watching this press conference, you wouldn't know that the origin of this was about domestic violence. This, this is an issue in this country. It manifests itself in all of our society. And this is an example of how it manifests itself in major college football. And yet you watch a press conference and it's really not addressed. There's no, there's, there's no mention of it until the very end. So I was disappointed in that. I, I found the fact that we gave Zach Smith the benefit of the doubt, but we didn't give Courtney Smith the benefit of the doubt. And that's part of the definition of domestic violence. The woman never, the woman never gets the benefit of the doubt. So right. is this about athletics? I guess it is. I guess there's a couple of suspensions and, 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 you know, a little distraction with the football team. But to me, we missed an opportunity as a university and as a network to broadcast an issue that is much more important in college football. Right, and there was apologies to multiple times Buckeye Nation, but nothing to Courtney Smith from anyone on Wednesday evening. You know, th there was something I found interesting, Jerry. When they were reading off their findings, they referred to Urban and Gene in that waiting for law enforcement was not the adequate response. But I didn't hear from either Mary Jo White or from Gene or Urban what was the appropriate response. What should they have done in 2015 with Zach Smith? Right. We, we should give women hope that it's not only in the hands of law enforcement. You, you don't have to be convicted or you don't have to be guilty of domestic violence to have committed domestic violence. Again, this is something that we, we could have educated the viewers about. The university could have taken this as a chance to educate its students, its followers. And, and so, again, uh, you know, is this about football? I guess if that's what we want to reduce it to, I don't really think this is a football issue. And to have someone that's accused of domestic violence way back when to be under the educational umbrella, to be interacting with young men on a daily basis, I, that, that worries me that someone, and that doesn't mean that Zach Smith couldn't get his issues fixed, but until he gets his issues fixed, I don't know that he should be in a classroom on a university campus. That was never discussed. Jerry, what effect do you think this will have on how other coaches, if something similar like this were to come up in the future, handle this? Well, you know, based on that press conference, I don't know that it's an impact. That, that, that's my major point. If, if this was about domestic violence, maybe it would have a ripple effect to all of the football coaches and all of educators and all of us as a society and our young men that we're trying to teach. But after that press conference, I don't know that it has an impact. It, we, we've have, we have a couple suspensions. I don't know that we've made progress on the issue. Was there a message that was sent then? I guess the message was, uh, you know, we haven't made much progress when it comes to domestic violence is, is, is what I got out of it. Do you, should there, it sounds like you're leaning towards there should have been let me just be clear. Are you leaning that the punishment should have been stronger or the words they used and the way they addressed this should have been more specific to the incident of domestic violence? The issue why this press conference originated should have been given more attention. I, I don't know about the punishment. I don't know. I wasn't in the meeting for eight or ten hours. I don't know all the details. Again, the bigger the crisis, the bigger the distraction, the bigger chance we have to make progress. And I would just have liked all of all of the people that presented today to make some reference to why this press conference started. It's, it's the issue of domestic violence. And then put, put out the punishment, whatever you think's fair. I'm not here to judge whether it's fair or not fair. 
I'm just here to say that I watched the press conference, and I don't know that I would have known it was about domestic violence. And I think we missed an opportunity. Finally, Jerry, uh, you mentioned this earlier, that at some point we get to the question of, well, is this a distraction for the players? It is clearly the least important thing involved in the news from today. That being said, this is a sports network, and you do cover these teams. You all are also a former head coach. How does this affect these players for those first three games? Well, I, you know, I don't think significantly. I, I think it, it'll be a little bit different. I don't think it'll make a great deal of difference, and that in itself is maybe part of the problem. If it's not going to impact their season, what have we accomplished through this crisis? Maybe nothing. Jerry DiNardo, BTN analyst. Thank you, as always, for chiming in, Jerry. Thanks, Mike.